Hi, YouTube friends, viewers, fans, opposition, supporters. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, first, some housekeeping things I need to get done. This coming Friday is Good Friday. I will be doing a special video for that day, so I hope you will be able to watch it sometime, whether it's that day or Saturday or sometime that weekend. And then Sunday is Easter, or as I like to call it, Resurrection Sunday, and I will also do a special video on that. You might want to watch it. No matter what you think of Easter, Good Friday, God, Christianity, the Bible, I encourage you to watch it. A blessed and happy Passover to, any, to all my Jewish viewers that are watching. What is Passover? Okay, let me give you just a quick lesson, if I may. The term Passover comes from the Hebrew Bible and was first mentioned in the book of Exodus in the Bible as God pronounced to the people of Israel enslaved in Egypt that he would free them. So I would encourage all of you, go to your Bible, go to the Old Testament, no matter whether you're Jewish or whatever you are, and look up Passover and study, do some studying about the holiday Passover so you know what the, our Jewish friends are celebrating and observing. California mega church pastor and author of the Purpose Driven Life, Rick Warren, says he apologized to his homosexual friends for making comments in support of California's Proposition 8 and now claims he never once even gave an endorsement of the marriage amendment. Monday night on, Larry, on CNN's Larry King Live, Pastor Rick Warren apologized for his support of Prop 8, California's voter-approved marriage protection amendment, saying he has never been and never will be anti-gay or anti-gay marriage activist. During the whole Proposition 8 thing, I never went, never once went to a meeting, never once issued a statement, never, never once even gave an endorsement in the two years Prop 8 was going. Warren told the CNN audience on Monday. The week before the vote, somebody in my church said, Pastor Rick, what do you think about this? And I sent a note to my own members that said, I actually believe that marriage is really, should be defined, that that definition should be, say, between a man and woman. However, just Two weeks before the November 4th Proposition 8 vote, Pastor Warren issued a clear endorsement of the marriage amendment while speaking to church members. We support Proposition 8, and if you believe what the Bible says about marriage, you need to support Proposition 8, he said. During the CNN interview Monday, Warren expressed regret for backing Proposition 8. There were a number of things that were put out. I wrote to all my gay friends, the leaders I know, knew, and actually apologized to them. That never got out, he admitted. I'm sorry to hear Pastor, I am sorry to hear, this is me talking now, I'm sorry to hear that Pastor Warren is sorry about his stand on this issue. He makes it sound like, if you supported this, you are anti-gay. I can support the marriages between one man and woman. If I lived in California, I could have voted for Proposition 8 and still love my gay friends. This is not, that bill was not about amendment, proposition, whatever. It was not about hating gay people. It was about marriage and protecting marriage. So are we not being loving if we don't, us who are Christians, if we don't tell those in the gay life what the Bible teaches about their lifestyle? If Warren wants to not be in the debate, that is okay, and that's fine, and that's his decision. But pastor, please don't think or act like us who support the Proposition 8 are anti-gay. Aren't you judging us by doing that? I'm sure many of you will have comments to post. Feel free to post, on my, post comments here on YouTube, and just thank you for watching. Until next time, I'm Billy. I'll see you.